Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus, and today we are going to be playing against none other than Mr. D, Tournament Champion, that's right, he won the last tournament, and I'm playing a best of 10 against him. It's the second best of 10 we've played together, I won't spoil the result of the previous one, but it was quite an exciting one. Of course, it shan't be as exciting as this one, because now we're both tournament champions in the Diva tournaments. Of course, he's the most recent one, so he has the most prestige, right? I only won the first one, and uh, I've been on the downtrend since then, but, you know, it is what it is. So in terms of the rules for this best of 10, we cannot play the same team after winning with it. So, for example, I'm playing Hit Squad now. If I win with the Hit Squad, I can't play it again. Mr. D is playing with the Lunar Ticks. If he wins with the Lunar Ticks, he can't play it again for the entire duration of the best of 10. I did say best of 10, right? So a best of 10 is the first of 5 wins. That's how we call it here in the circus. I know it doesn't make sense, but bear with me. It is, um, it is whoever gets to 10 wins first. I mean 5 wins on the best of 10. I am quite excited to play this. I feel my heart pumping. The blood pumps, the limbs obey, and I am making decisions here. Either I go for the pull or I don't, that's the question. And honestly, I don't. I almost pass. <laughs> I almost freaking pass on that. But I decide against it. They might might move back here, that is a possibility, but no, they're just going to uppercut my flange wand. Which might daze me, yes it does daze me, I'm just going to shoot into that anyway. They do have 15 prot on it, so I can tap it, but I can't one shot it unfortunately, even with the crit. It is an unfortunate spot, but um, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Depending on what they do with the higher man here, I will just drop Reclaim at my flagellant. And this should be a rather good matchup for the hit squad. I have Snuff on the Arbalest. I have Flagellant with the Reclaim. So it is a very decent team to be playing into this. So we will see how it goes. They're going to drop the Vanette on the Bounty Hunter. So, ah, it's, it's rough. Because they might shoot him. They'll shoot him for sure. But if I move forward, I'll have another attacking action, which I really want. If I lose the Bounty Hunter, do I lose the match? Oh, he's, he's fine. They're gonna take a lot of... No, I need to move forward here, because then they only have tools advanced to hit him. Yeah, I think just moving forward here is better. It is, uh, it is definitely a difficult decision to make, but I think I'm just gonna move forward. I don't want to move forward too much, I don't want to move forward to position 1, because then the cru if the Crusader gets pulled, he'll be very, very far away from using his stunts and his cells. So I don't really want that to happen, that's why we have the Crusader in position 1. His stun and his cells is much more effective than his other moves. I want to go for a 50-50 on the enemy Crusader, you know, I want to go for a stun for sure, but unfortunately it doesn't really do enough damage. Surprisingly they go for a heal, I'm just going to tap that again, so I, I really don't care too much about this. <laughs> they'll, they'll probably just heal him again, and uh, it will work. The this next heal that they do, do they have the healing trigger? Ah, they do. So the next heal that they do will actually do a fair bit of a fair bit of healing. Oh. oh god! Okay, okay, that ruined my game plan completely. Yeah, that crit heal kind of ruins it for me. Okay, let's think this over then. The crits are unfortunate, but they are an event of life. They are something that I have to deal with. We keep the flash on turn for now. We go for a stun on their bounty hunter. Thankfully, we get a nice crit on it. So, this is going to be the best of 10. It's going to be very close between both players. Obviously, we're both going try hard. Mr. D then asks, do we go try hard or do we do more of a fun best of 10? Honestly, I usually don't try hard, but if I'm already like committing to doing a best of 10 or a best of 5, then I might as well play, play to my best, right? Might as well bring my A game. I'm kind of in a weird... Oh, I'm not gonna do it, man. I gotta do it, man. Ah, I dropped it. I dropped it. I'm sorry. The thing is, they don't have a they don't have a bleed clear, and I don't want to pull the Musketeer here. The, the problem is, if I pull the Musketeer, they can go Holy Lance on me. Other, they can still go Holy Lance on me if they go Duelist Advance into Holy Lance, uh, which they probably will do. I think that is the move. They might go for a Sound Crusader. I think that's a misplay. They they should really dance with these two characters. But it looks like they're not going to go for it, they're just going to stun my Crusader, which fair enough, you know, Saint Crusader is a fine move too. But not what I would have gone for personally. I can go for a punish on the Bounty Hunter, or I can go for a heal on the bount on my Bounty Hunter, and the choice is obvious, I heal my Bounty Hunter here. They're going to duels advance into him, I need to give him healing. He's the soft underbelly of this team, he needs to have reclaims on him. The flash one doesn't care if he gets yassy, yeah, exactly, it's, it's already hurting like hell. It sucks, it sucks. We're going to Holy Lance into it, and this is going to feel quite bad. I can still shoot their mark, it's still a good thing. I have plus 66 get here. 
I have plus 66% damage, so I still bring them down to zero immediately, which is pretty good. They're probably just going to drop another heal here for like... Ah, uh, like 18 this time? Fucking hell, the Musketeer. Ah, I'm so... Ah, another crit for 30! Jesus Christ, man! What is this? Okay. Okay. Damn, this is really bad. This is really bad. The match should not be going this terribly. Like, this really sucks. <laughs> Ironically, it's horrid. Should I have been pulling the Musketeer? Maybe. Maybe I should have been pulling the Musketeer. Not going for for, for the Crusader. I don't know. I didn't expect 500,000 crit heals for 30 HP each. That's crazy. That is crazy, though. But okay, we'll, we'll be fine here. We still have a Flash one. He's still OP. So you're going to uppercut me here. Did he get it? Uh, yes, they get the days too. That's that's quite bad. That is quite bad. Do I get to go first? Yes, I do. Okay, that's quite good. Ah, uh, oh god, this is terrible. I might just yeah, I might just have to move forward there. Yeah, it's really quite bad because if my bully just tools advance into Holy Lands into me, and uh, it's it's terrible. Okay, we move forward to position one. <laughs> oh, I hate this! Why is the Lunar Tech such a silly team? Like, it shouldn't be working, but it does. It's so annoying. It's genuinely so annoying how this team is. They even have Inspiring Crown the Crusader. Maybe I can take advantage of that, but... They're gonna go for the Wicked Slice. <laughs> Close. No cigar. I'm going to drop another claim on there. I need to... I need to have the redeem available for the next couple of rounds. They're probably going to pop a Holy Lance on my flash. I'm just hoping they don't do enough damage. Because if they do enough damage, I'm going to be pissed. Thankfully, the mark is still there for like forever. But so is the healing received, though. So. I will shoot into him again. I still have plus damage. Uh, so, I, yeah, I might just I might just do that. Just shoot into him again. I have 12 regen on my bounty hunter now, though. And the, the Caltrips is stacking up. I really like Caltrips on this team. The original creator of the team does not run caltrips, but I love it. I really, I really like caltrips. You know what? It's not even the damage that sucks, even though it does suck. Is that now they get 15 prots, so now I can't even tap them. Like it's, it's just, it just keeps getting worse. It, it's unbelievable. It's genuinely unbelievable. Let's just go for a stun on there, I suppose. And we'll see what we do after that. Yeah, because with 28 HP and 30 prot, I, I can't deal with it. I don't have piercing coil. Just wouldn't do enough damage. They're going to uppercut me here. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Oh, do they have finisher? They don't. This is genuinely so annoying. Okay, I'm not marked. I go first. There's only one move here. We move to position one again. Like, it's genuinely so annoying to be playing this. They can't hit me here, they don't have a finisher, I'm fine, so 25. Yeah, they daze me so I can't click because of the regen. It's... Oh, this team! I hate it so much with the uppercut! And the crit heals. Oh! Oh, like... I, I wish I was playing Silac Prot. They don't even... They don't have Open Vein. They don't have nothing. They don't have Caltrips. Like, oh, if I had Silac Prot here, this team would be suffering so heavily. It would be fantastic to, eat, to witness. But, yeah, unfortunately, I don't. I have something else. And we have to, we have to make duel, right? So I'm going to shoot the Crusader again. Some of those heals have gone away, so they're going to drop another heal on there soon. I don't have Caltrips anymore, so they have to do, don't have to do it immediately. But if they don't, I do go first the next round. So if they go aimed shot on me here, it's very int. Uh, int, that's League of Legends terms. But uh, <laughs> it is not a good move whatsoever, because then I will just move to position 3, and I'll just go for the finish him on the... On the Crusader and won't be too good for my opponent. So now I'm going to regen and I'm just going to pull that Musketeer and force that Crusader to position four potentially. That's probably what's going to happen here after they after they duels advance. Regardless of who they duels advance here, probably the Arbos. I'm praying they don't do enough damage. They shouldn't. It's close, but no cigar. Yeah, close, but no cigar. I still have my heals here. They can daze me, by the way. They can daze my flagellant. They're probably looking for it. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna let that happen. I have to stop that. Yeah, I have to stop that. So no dazing the flagellant, even though I really want to <laughs> stop that musketeer. No dazing the flagellant allowed. 
Hopefully they don't like bola and get two knockbacks. That would, that would be really, really unfun. But we'll see what happens here. But we're doing some very decent damage to my opponent's side. Soon enough the match will turn. Soon enough I will have the redeems. I will have the exsanguinates. I will have my my flash on dropping to that store. I'll have the crown of thorns, and everything will be a okay. Am I talking a bit too quickly? I feel excited. I feel excited. That might be a good thing. So we're gonna get hit here. Unfortunately, we don't have redeem on this Arbalest, but she's just going to heal herself most likely. No, she's not. No, she's not. I'm going to heal her like this, and I'm going to exang the Bounty Hunter, so now he's dropping to this store. Yeah, this is the move. Uh, we exang the Bounty Hunter, so now he's dropping to this store. We don't have to drop a heal. If they heal the Bounty Hunter, we shoot them. If they don't heal the Bounty Hunter, he dies start of next round, because I have finished him. I don't have it at the moment, but you, you, you get the point. So yeah, Flagell dropping to this store there, heals the Arbalest, exang the Bounty Hunter, and that's, uh, that's the best move you can go for there. Quite a hard fought first match already, and we're gonna have potentially 10 of these. It's actually crazy. Oh, they're going to risk the 25. What a wise move. What a wise decision to risk the 25 here. That is a very high level play. Um, do I shoot the musketeer? Do I shoot the musketeer is the question. Do I pull the musketeer? Now, if I shoot the musketeer, they have to heal. Then they have two heals. But this should still be good for me here if I shoot the musketeer. Yeah, it should still be very good because then she's going to be at 0 HP. So like all their characters are going to be, be hanging around low or amounts of HP, which is quite nice. So overall, this is uh, this is always going to be good. I could have gone for a ball there, but I don't want to put myself at this star, honestly. I don't mind just moving forward here. I don't want to go for a 25 death blow. And then putting myself at this star. I don't feel like it's worth it. So she's going to heal herself. 11. No crit. Good. That's That's better. And I'm just going to move to position 1 here, their Crusader will heal, and then, you know, we're probably going to... I am dazed, so it is a bit of an unfortunate spot to be in, but once they click, they will drop to their store, so that's pretty good. Uh, I could shoot the Musketeer so she heals herself, that wouldn't be too bad of a move. Forcing the Musketeer to heal herself does remove one of their healing turns, so... Sure, let's do it. We, we can keep critting. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Look at all the crits! So unnecessary, I love it. Uh, well, uh, who needs piercing coral when you just have luck on your side, right? <laughs> Look at the crit chance. This gives you 50% damage, 13% crit. Now, unfortunately, I can't click the higher man to check the pistol shot, but let me tell you, it's garbage compared to this. Complete, utter garbage. Okay, so the Musketeer is at this door here, she's just going to heal herself most likely. She does, and it's a 15, which is uh, maybe a bit more than I wanted. So, now we are going to unfortunately have to use our, our finisher turn here, but we are going to use it for a very good idea. We are going to go for a pull on the Musketeer. We failed the 75. Okay, this could be game-changing. For the worst. For the worst. So my idea there was that doing that, then the bounty hunter would be in position too. So even if they tried pushing my, my crusader or something of the likes, then he could go holy lands with his radar execution. You know, she'd be in position one, so I'd have an actual target to hit now. Instead of repost or stun rest and bleeding. So eh, I, he's just gonna be on healing duty. He's just gonna try to heal someone most likely. So he's gonna go for the wicked slice, they they do enough damage that I will be brought to their store, so I'm. I could stun that. I could pop that, but I might just. I might fail the stun even. So I'm not. So I'm just gonna do this. Screw it. Just don't drop to their store. Yeah, it's. It is gonna be the game plan here. Unfortunately, it's all you have to do. We're probably gonna drop a reclaim with the flagellant. Five would turn to six with the crown of thorns. So I don't. No one to take that. Don't really want to take that. They drop to their store here. They can go uppercut on me. And then just go for a heal. It seems that's going to be what their what their game plan is. Just uppercut me and go for a heal. But it could fail. It's an 85% chance of success if they for them to get the push. Oh no, they go finish him. I disagree with this move. Yeah, I do disagree with this move. I can go for a 25 now. Uh, I could go for an exsanguinate too, but uh, I feel like, I feel it's unnecessary. I could just go for a 25 here. 
And sure. Okay. Unfortunately, no death blow, but we just do this. Then they heal, and then we probably exanimate them or something. Not entirely sure yet. Not entirely sure yet. I might just heal with my crusader or something of the likes. Like, that's generally not a bad idea. Ah, uh. oh, decisions, right? What if we trade? Nah, trading's bad. Trading's a bad idea here. I could like sang into it, but I don't I really don't wanna. Um I'm going to to heal at the Crusader here. Yeah, let's just heal at the Crusader and see what we can do. They're still bleeding down to zero. All their other characters are bleeding as well, which is good. Uh, these characters are in good HP amounts. I don't want to use up my healing that quickly. To keep my characters alive, sure. To be offensive, not so much. Yeah. So let's just do this in the meantime. They're going to buckshot here. That shouldn't do five. Oh, it does. Okay, heal everyone. I am brought to this door. But I don't mind it all that much. So here's the problem. If I heal here... With the Arbalest... They punch me, which won't do enough to bring me to zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we heal at the Arbalest. We're doing. Um, no, 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 don't heal at the Arbalest. Uh, we heal with, uh, with this. We heal with this. So, watch this. We heal with this, so we can keep our Arbalest turn. They, they might go, they have to go Duelist Advance here to keep the repulse, and they'll have to heal two characters, because I'm going to shoot that Musketeer. So we're gonna put them in Checkmate here. We're gonna have a, a Death Blow on one of their characters, essentially. So they, they're not gonna click the Bounty Hunter yet, they're probably just gonna go for, they might just go for a Wicked Slice. That is a possibility. That is what I what I would do here. That is what they have to do. So we're probably going to go for a Wicked Slice. Indeed it does work, so I'll, I'll just have to heal there. Yeah, I'll just have to heal there. I could do a trade of characters here, but... Um, I don't think it's advantageous. So if I heal... No, if I shoot... Let's, let's do some math here. If I shoot... Then they can click... No, then they won't click. They'll heal. But then... They heal, then I act, and that's not good, so I have to heal. Yeah, that's not good. That's not very good. So we're gonna go for the heal here first, and they might bring me down to zero. They won't do it immediately, obviously. Yeah, I'll just, uh, they're, they're just screwed. Yeah, they're generally just screwed. There's not too much they can do here, because the Crusader's in position three. Yeah, they're just screwed. We just have to play, we just have to play it a bit safe, kind of be wise with our moves, use the entire duration of the 30 seconds that we got. This match is already going on for 18 minutes, holy moly. And they crit Holy Lance me, of course, because why wouldn't they? Now they're gonna finish him on me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, Freddy Fazbear. Um, okay, difficult spot to be in. I want to move back. I want to move back here, generally, because then they uppercut me, if I don't. So, I want to move back to position 3. They might go for a pull, it's a 45. If it works, it is very annoying. But the... The pull on me, the, the uppercut on me would be worse here. It's less likely, so yeah, they might go for the 45. If they don't, they just die and it's GG. Because then I still have two healers and I have a flat one, so it should be fine. Oh, they just go finish him on my... <laughs> Oh, that's too sad, isn't it? Oh, that's too sad. That's just too sad. Okay, I have two healers now. They might still make it. They they still have a chance of making it. They have to get a kill on one of my characters. That was their chance there. Oh, they get the stun. Oh, they do have two, two stun trinkets on there, so it makes sense. Do they have grape shot? No, they don't. Okay. Well, we go for our crusader turn here, as they do. And yeah, this is just not a very good spot to be in. I can still shoot them. I could have shot them there, but I don't think it's worth it. This freaking Yodine drinkage being annoying as hell. But look at this. The higher man has been taking damage. <laughs> All he's taken is Caltrops damage. I have done nothing else to this higher man. I haven't hit him once apart from Caltrops. And his healthy 42 has turned into a measly soon to be 27. Which is really nice for me. Yeah, really quite nice. Oh, they're going crazy now. They're going crazy now. Is that enough? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. That's unfortunate they do enough there. So they do go first the next turn. Meaning that they will potentially get a kill on someone. Um, yeah. 
kind of sucks. I could do this, but if it doesn't work, it's going to be really bad. I need to keep the bounty hunter alive. Let's just do this. If they duelist advance here into the into the bounty hunter, they won't have finish him. So they're, or rather, they won't have wicked slice onto him. So they still don't have any good death blow chances. That's the problem. After the higher man's dead because they don't have finisher. Rather, the bounty hunter is dead because they don't have finisher. So I drop to that store here. Unfortunately, doesn't heal my flagellant. So they will likely just go. There was no point in me going for preemptive heal there. I don't think. I don't think that would have been the smartest move. Now they're going to go for the wicked slice. Do they get it? Is a question. Even if they do, I should still be winning. But unfortunately for them, they don't. I can't be hit at the moment. So all I have to do is wait. Yeah, that's generally all I have to do here. Yeah, I can't be hit by all of these bozos. None of them can hit me. All I have to do is go for waiting moves. So, waiting move number one. Uh, we mark the Crusader. Yeah, let's mark the Crusader. We want to want to line him up, keep him marked for a couple turns, and just wait. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's just a waiting game. I want to to wait here, not go for for all my moves yet. Force them to use their actions before they want to use them. So, if they click here with the Musketeer now. I'll just shoot into her. If they click here with the Crusade, I'll just shoot into him. And it's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. And my Crusade will just heal the, the Flatchlant, and the Flatchlant will just do something. They'll rally to the flame because they can't move forward. <laughs> if they move forward, they're screwed. They do clear the Death Floor Resistance debuff, so that's unfortunately. That's unfortunate, not unfortunately, Champ. What are you saying? I will just drop a reclaim on this bounty hunter. Let's keep him alive and well. We still have two healers and now we have to reclaim two, so it is borderline impossible for Mr. D to win this. He can still do it, but uh, it is very, very difficult at this point. Also keep in mind that he died round 8, was it? He didn't die this round, he died the round before, so it was round 8 that he died, yeah. So they bring me down to zero there, I can just shoot, put him at this door and heal. Oh, but who? Ah, I could just heal twice. Yeah, you know what, let's just heal twice. Just say screw it. I could shoot him. I maybe should have shot him. Yeah, maybe I should have shot him. Shoot him and uh, heal the bounty hunter, basically. Because if they go for a kill on me, then they did it at this store, so they're screwed. Yeah, so if they go for a kill on the flash one, they immediately lose their Crusader, and that's a character trait, so I'll be up two characters, and uh, they, they have Caltrips, so it's GG. I should have done that. I should have done that. But unfortunately, I didn't. It's okay, though. I have... Uh, I can use the regen here, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> that's the problem. I kind of don't want to use the regen. Uh, I could drop a redeem on there, I suppose. Mm. I don't want to do that either. I don't want really to do anything, man. I just want to chill. Yeah, I'll just drop a heal. Drop another heal on this crusade. Just play uh, on the bounty hunter. Just play it safe now. Play it safe. Wait for the cards to unfold themselves and we will win. We will come out on top eventually. It's only a matter of time. Mr. D doesn't want to surrender, obviously. But it's only a matter of time until he's forced to. Am I marked? Question mark. No, I'm not. Good. Now we go for the heal. With the redeem. Yeah, it's weird, but we have to go for the heal to redeem here. I need to get him out of this door. Then we shoot the Crusader. They're going to preemptive heal here, but it won't be enough. Then we shoot the Crusader, and then we kill him. Or they can heal themselves. Regardless of what they do, I'll have a death blow chance this uh, this round. And he surrenders, because I have checkmated him a couple times already. So yeah, the flash on dying would have healed all my other characters anyway, so it would have still been advantageous for me, but Pit Squad just takes match number one. Let's go for match number two. GG. GG match number two. Please let me go for... Oh, okay. Okay, still losable. So, my opponent picks Goliath. Mr. D picks Goliath. And I picked Silex Prot. It's GG. It's GG. Uh, if they miss the stun here, which is an 80% chance, they should just surrender. Uh, naturally. Naturally they get a crit on it. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, so, this won't be as easy as it would have been if I had Bork immediately. But, you know, I'll, I'll make two, right? I'll make two. Uh, I hope I brought all the right things. Yeah, I did. Good. Okay, first things first. Check their trinkets. They have snuff. Oh, they're so screwed. Um, they have all the right stuff here. Okay. They have two snuffs. Wow. Uh, I, I might just click. I might bellow. I'm just going to... Ah, bellow while I can. 
And yeah, when in doubt, bell it out. So let's just start reducing the damage on these bozos. Oh, of course they got a crit. Like, 80% hit chance. If it were me, I would have missed. <laughs> just straight up. Straight up would have been a miss. But they had to go for it, obviously. If they let me get the block off into with Leper, it's... No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's really not gonna work. Okay, I have the Festering Vapor's capabilities. They might even miss my anti crane at this point. I'm going to keep my Flagell on turn. I don't imagine they can punch through this Crusader that quickly, so I don't feel like dropping a Reclaim on him just yet. So for now, let's just do this and enjoy ourselves. Just click the stun character, guys. They go first next round again, they have a 70% chance of getting the stun. Uh, will they go for it? Maybe. I don't don't think so, but they might. Nah, they probably will. Hopefully I resist. Hopefully. They're gonna go for the sniper shot 11, kind of a tickle. So now we're gonna start doing what this team does best, which is dropping festering vapors. Blight on everyone, the timer is ticking. The timer is ticking. Materi Pestis Antiquarian. This is Salex Prot number two, by the way. My beloved. Salex Prot number two, my beloved. And I'm immediately going for a claim here on the Crusader. So he only has 35 prot, unfortunately. If they stun him again, I might consider guarding. Well, I'll consider guarding once I see what the Leper does. I do have a stun resistance trinket on my mana arms, but it's... Oh, really? They sniper shot. Do they do enough? No, that would be good. Well, in that case, it's immediate, immediate block. They have finale capabilities, but all I have to do to deal with the finale capabilities is guard. And they can't do anything about it anymore. They don't have Puncture, they don't have Abomination, they don't have Bounty Hunter, they don't have Shield Breaker, there's nothing... Yeah, Shield Breaker is Puncture. Uh, there's nothing they can do. All they can do here is just try to chew through my protection. And, you know, try they will, but even with a crit, they only do... <laughs> almost half my HP. Even with a crit, they, almost, they only do almost half my HP. They go first, so I have to be wary. So for now, I'm just going to, to drop a Festering Vipers. As you do. <laughs> it's what I'm going to be doing the entire match. It's dropping Festering Vipers. And just keeping all my characters alive, essentially. I'll likely drop a guard very, very soon. Until then, I just chill for a bit. I'll just chill for a bit. They might go Harvest here. They'll probably go Harvest to try and kill my Man at Arms, but it's, it's going to take more than that. It will take more than that. See, so yeah, I've dropped Bullark, so this is good. This is very good. And I am a bit worried for the safety of my anti current but I'll just drop the guard on there and not care about it. I also have three turns of guard because of the protector sky, so that's very handy. Can you stop? Like, that's that's becoming uns unsettling at this point. Um, they they can't Dirk Snap forwards. I want to guard regardless because I don't want to be at this storm. I don't want I don't want the Death Sword debuff, so let's just go for this immediately. I'll have an extra 30 prot against their harvest damage, so I'll just I'll just take it, I guess. And they'll probably just harvest here, but they could just try to Dirk Stab my Crusader. I will have the the, the reclaims eventually. I don't think they have they'll get him in time. I don't think so. I don't think they'll get him in time. I am definitely dropping the claims here. That's twelve. That's a lot of HP. He has 55 prods, like, this is very difficult to break through. They're gonna try, for sure. Well, as long as they don't get another crit here, we should, we should be good. And uh, do they? Yeah, of course. They do 19 this time around. I might actually be a bit screwed here. I might actually generally be a bit screwed. Because of the two crit shops. That's so unfortunate. I'm actually gonna lose this because of the two crit shops. I mean, I should be fine, they don't have enough damage because of my protection, I, but I don't get to go first, that's the problem. So they will be able to get him started next round. Yeah, it's so unfortunate. It really is so unfortunate. Two crit shops and there's nothing I can do about it. Wow. Uh, I suppose I can protect me. I suppose I can protect me on there. And, um... No, there's... No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. I can guard and I can use protect me on the flagellant. Yes, yes, yes. That appears to be the game plan. Um, protect me on... Guard him. Protect me... No, protect me on the flagellant first. Or protect me on him. No, protect me on the flagellant. I, I will use one of the turns immediately. I don't... I don't mind. I'm, I'm still gonna go for this. This is still the best move. We drop a reclaim first. And then we're gonna go for it. I don't think they'll have enough damage to deal with the flagellant. If they if they try going holy lands on the flagell, no, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna do it. Yeah, I don't think so. But I will just use protect me on the flag and then guard the man at arms. Keep everything safe. 
keep everything safe. Let's not stress out just yet. They might have crits, but I have other stuff. I have protect me. And eventually I'll have to redeem, and eventually it'll be GG, because they can't deal with me. I even wiped. They're gonna go for him. Oh, fuck. Seven damage. Okay. Now we use... Do they have quarrel? They do. They do have quarrel. Oh, three buffs. Okay, now use protect me. So he's gonna have 60 prot with this, right? And one bell debuff on there. Yeah, 60 prot. It should be enough to keep me alive. And then I'll guard him. How much is it? Oh, no, it shouldn't be enough. I have 60 prot. I should be okay. Yeah, now we guard this. <laughs> ah, do they have enough? Ah, I have, I have 60 prot, man. 60 prot. Oh, f oh, no, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, I don't have stone eyes. Ah. I'm gonna lose them to this match. I should not lose this match. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My plans have been thwarted. Like to the to the absolute most they could have ever been thwarted to. Think, Shepard, think. Okay. Unfortunately we have to do this. I can't afford to lose the Antiquarian here. Uh, the men at arms will guard. Two f uh, the men at arms will guard forever. They can't deal with 50 HP, 80 prot. I'll just spam fetching vapors and we'll win the match that way. They can't kill the crusader either. It's fine. They're going to sniper shot me here. They don't want to get the kill with the finale anymore. They don't think that's the way to victory. That's a wise assumption. If I heal, they can't get the, the kill just yet. They can get it start next round though. Uh, but start next round is start next round, not now. Look at all that healing. It didn't help me. It didn't help me whatsoever. Okay, let's do this. I can't believe it. How the team crumbled. How the team crumbled. It's so unfortunate. I can still survive a 6 if they try going for it. But yeah, if they drop finale here, I probably still win. Uh, even if they drop the finale on there. So let's see. If they want to drop the finale now, or else the leper will pass. That's kind of the problem they're having. They might they might still not have enough damage. <laughs> I have 60 prot. <laughs> uh, yo, the finale, did they have enough? Yeah, they did, unfortunately. They should do 14 to 25 damage with 16 prot with 60 prot, like it could have could have been enough to stay alive there, but they drew the, do drop the finale. And now I have <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of regen I got. Let's drop festering vapors. Yeah, from here till dawn we drop festering vapors. Screw it. We, 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 we roll, we roll at these, but I'm not sure if it's enough. Yeah, I'm generally not sure if it's enough. They're gonna chop... Oh, fuckers. Okay, they're gonna chop the corpse, but it's okay. I, I see their game plan, but it's not gonna work. I see they, their game plan, but it's not gonna work. We go for the battle here. The reason they chop the corpse there is so they now uh, stun my... I fail a 90, okay. Is so they can now basically just stun the men at arms and make my anti-grind's life hell. But if they stun the men at arms, I will use protect me on him and we'll be fine. Like, I have a lot of protection here, okay? They got two crits right from the get-go and that made things difficult for me. Thankfully, it doesn't work, so I'm keep I'm free to keep playing here. Let's go, let's keep playing. We go faster. Oh, oh 95! Whoa, okay. Oh, okay, dude. Yeah, the game did not want me to win this. It's like, if I ever say, like, oh, I win, <laughs> the game does everything to make me lose. It's generally uncanny. So, yeah, 80 prot or 55 prot in regen. Pick your poison. He's gonna heal himself. Yeah, <laughs> he, he can't do much here. <laughs> you have no power here. It's Gazellus. Yeah, we do those. That's not nice damage and stress. Oh, God, if they go for a Oh! Oh, that'd be terrifying. If I get this win here, it's so huge. You have no idea how huge it is. No. No. Ah! Dude, how the frick did they push the Victoria standard? Oh, my God. Now they can harvest. Oh. Okay, that's fine, though. Kind of. Um... We zealous into that, right? Yeah, we zealous into that. Come on. 
Do I have six? Oh, you only have four? How do I only have four? Did I? Oh, I spent. I think I spent a turn like using protect me. Uh, I don't know. How do I only have four? How do I have plus twenty arc? Oh, I got finish our accuracy already. Nice, nice, very good, very good. Yeah, the, the pressure should be turning around now. Like the pressure should be turning around now. You're you're at this, this our next round. So they're gonna go for the stun on me. Oh, oh, okay. I don't think I don't see it. Okay, looks like they're gonna try to focus the crusader down. I I don't see it honestly. But you know, you do you. I will lose some prot here if I go for the if I go for the bellow. But I really want to drop a bellow here, so I'm gonna drop the bellow. Yeah, drop the bellow. Let's do it. Reduce their damage a bit, please. Please, no virtue. Okay, selfish, that's very good for me. I swear, if they got a virtue there, <laughs> it would not be good. It would not be good. Oh, it would be bad, bad. But yeah, if I get a win here, that's two... Wait, can you guys even see the wins? Uh, the, the freaking background's making it difficult to see. It says, Chef versus Mr. D, best of 10, 1 nil, first to 5 wins. That's what it says. Yeah, I, I just realized that you can't really see it too well. Okay, they're going for the chops. I was wondering whether they would hew, but they decided against it. They go hopeless, that's not too bad. That's a move affliction. I, that's not too bad for them. Yeah, that's generally not too bad for them, unfortunately for me. We go for this. We get a crit on the right character. That's the one I really wanted to get a crit on. Okay, you're dropping. You're close. You're close. Use it for plus damage. Sure. And she's dropping next turn. So yeah, it's not looking good for them anymore. Uh, as long as I can keep the guard up. As long as I can keep the guard up. I have a trick up my sleeve. I don't know if Mr. Deed knows this trick. Yeah, they have to start healing now. That's very good for me. They're healing the Jester. They're, he's the DOT dealer here. They're gonna keep spamming Harvest. I have a lot of bleed rats. Hopefully it works. Okay, one of them does. I'll, I can live with that. Uh, we click the stunned character. Then we drop a guard. Selfish might pass. If Selfish passes, this is just a kill and it's GG. Man, everything is GG, Chef. Come on, it's been GG since, since you loaded into the game. <laughs> It's GG, guys. <laughs> we won. <laughs> and uh, I'm struggling here. Oh, look at this win. Guaranteed win, right? Okay. We do this. They're gonna have to use their Arbalus turn. Uh, this should be okay. Even if they stun my Man at Arms, they can't stun my Antiquarian because they only have one stun. So this should generally be okay. And they have to start healing here. Once they start healing, like, it's it's Jover. It's so Jover for them. Yeah, they're, you're gonna have to heal there. But you don't get a crit. Good. And now I go Festering Vapors. And with the Festering Vapors. That's gonna be another affliction, right? No. Sadly. Selfish. No act outs. Doesn't say no because he's abusive. Okay. Not looking good so far. Abusive. Do something, please. Nothing. Hey, what are the afflictions doing? They get a crit! Alright, we can live with it, we can live with it, calm down. Calm down, Shepherd Doggy. Oh, uh, we don't want to go for Mastering Vapors just yet, we want to Bellow first. Yeah, Bellow first is a move here, watch this Bellow. Watch this Bellow. Immediate, massive amounts of stress, massive amounts of minus damage. Affliction on the Arbol as she goes, Irrational, it's very good for me. Okay, very good. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that Irrational on the Arbol. Isn't this the best of... 10 background that we had against the other best of 10 against Mr. D. I can't remember too well. They go hopeless, so that's minus 20% damage for going first. They do counter it with the exotic snuff, and they see it now that they had minus 20% damage, so they just go for the self heal. And now I will just drop a zealous on there. Like, what we have on them is adding up. It is stacking up quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the selfish thought! Ah! Ah! Oh, Boogers Burkis, I love you. I love this game with a with a passion, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Okay. Okay. We have Fast Drink Vapors past this finisher. We're gonna do it. And we're not gonna care what anyone else says. We're gonna come out swinging with our little sensory antiquarian. No act outs. No act outs. Please. I need act outs. Bitter. 
Okay, Chester, yeah, he's adding up. Look at the stress. Though. Look at the stress. We, we need some act outs here, okay? Abusive. Do something, please. Okay. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. That might help a bit. You know, if the Zealous had hit, it really would have helped. I can get another crit and another please. <laughs> ah, selfish, please. Do something bad. He moves back, so the chest oh, sniped your dark stab. Oh my god! <sighs> How can one get so irritated, really? That's why I am, I'm irritated. We bellow into that, right? I'm in doubt! I love Protective Sky. It's such a juicy trinket. Sexual guard duration really, really gave me a hand. So they have to heal there. They still have to heal there. They still have to heal there. They're fine here for a bit. Okay, this looks very good. Like, I cannot believe the fact that my opponent almost won this. But yeah, n now you're screwed. Oh, now you're so screwed. BAM! That's no more Crusader for you, right? Uh, oh, it's, they're on the brink of collapse here. They're on the brink of collapse. He's gonna do an abusive act out, like... Bah, you suck! Or, wait, what's the gesture? Uh, saying he says, just another artifact of man's hubris. Yeah, he says something like that. The Crusader goes, great teeth. Then he dies. Then he goes, I can't take it anymore. Wow. An arbalist that fires arbalists. <laughs> Three characters at this door. Oh, and you know it's coming. You know what's coming, right? Do you know what's coming? Question mark. Nah. Easy this. It's safer. Do you know what's coming? Whoa, the crit here. Look, I can get lucky too. My first crit of the match. <laughs> No, it wasn't the first crit. I think I got like one crit or something. <laughs> like, what is this? The ring mommy! You're not even here anymore! It's the flash! He doesn't do an, any act outs, by the way. Okay, they don't get a, They don't get an immediate kill, though, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. GG! It's time! Ow! One kill, two kills, three kills, four kills! Is it? Oh, the heart attack came too quickly. Unfortunate, unfortunate event. Mr. D almost won this against all odds, but there is no justice in this world. He takes the kill and goes to match number three with two losses. GG's. Alright, and here we go straight into a match number three. So this time it's against Winterblitz TOT and I get to go first. Okay, good. I have I have WD. I have WD, as you do, and what do we want to do first? Lots of things, obviously, but first things first, we're gonna push this flash one. I don't like him. He's not a cool-looking gentleman, so we're just gonna eat him all the way to the back and see what we can do about that. So, this is not a very good matchup for Winter Bliss DOT, but it can be won through just perseverance and dodge. So, they can do something with it, but um, for sure. For sure they can do something with it, but it's not the bestest thing to have. Like, if they had this team against what I had last time, I probably would have won for sure. But, you know, since they don't, I'm just chilling here. And chill I shall. Chill I shall. So I will probably just wait around a bit. I think they want to focus my Crusader down, which, fair enough. I will probably just mark the Antiquarian. Like, just straight up mark the Antiquarian. Yeah, that sounds like a move. I could also just go Caltrips here, but I think Caltrips might be a bit throw. <laughs> I have to mark the Antiquarian. <laughs> Caltrips would be a bit throw here, Chef. Like, come on. Come on. Not every game is a match where you just spam Caltrips. Like, right right from the round one. Oh, past Chef would be so angry at me. He really would. Not spamming Caltrips. What a bozo. What a bozo this guy is. I'm probably gonna wait for my last character, just gonna go for like a 50-50 stun here. They take cover, surprisingly. I mean, sure. Let's just go for a 50-50 stun. It either hits or it doesn't. Such is the way of the Butcher Circus. I might flare that. Or I might not. We shall see. Uh, if they don't want to move forward with the flash, then I'll just hit them. They're gonna go for Dirk Sam here. Thankfully no crits, so that's kind of saving my ass a bit. I'm gonna go for the shot on there. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a hell of a lot more than that, because now Stunning Blow doesn't get him down to zero. I was really hoping for a Stunning Blow to get him down to zero, but this will do. This will have to do. If he moves forward, I will just Stunning Blow him, so... There, there's that coming. Yeah, there is that coming. That's one of their take covers. 
My Crusader doesn't feel good. You don't want to move back. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? They move back, huh? Okay. Sure. You do you. I... I shoot. I mean, like, sure, use your heals. Use your heals, then I drop caltrips, and then I stun their jester. And, ah, oh, it doesn't look good. I generally don't look good. Yeah, it doesn't look too good here. They're, they're playing this well, I must say. They're playing this quite well. Missing that 50 50 stun really sucks. Not gonna lie. Well, let's drop the caltrips now, do some overall damage to this side. See if we, what we can do after it. Could have gone for a pull on the flagellant, but I think that's a bit crazy. Like, a bit too much, too crazy even for me. They're probably going to Dirk, Stab, and Puncture, I imagine. Just to get rid of my Crusader here sometime soon. After that, I'll just do everything I can to like push the Jester away and prevent the finale. Because if they get rid of one of my characters before I get rid of one of theirs, it's, it's GG, pretty much. And I don't want it to be GG. Obviously not. So they're going they're going to pull me. No, they're going to expose me. Oh that's even worse. That is even worse. Even and worse. It's fine. We detransform. Now we go for the stall of the dress. So we do have the red TRS net, so we have plus accuracy on it. And yeah, it does hurt. It hits and it hurts. That's very good for me. And now they'll probably well click with the anti current and move back. Oh no, you just click the chest there. I suppose I could zealous into this. Like, it's not, not a terrible idea to zealous into this. 75 hit chance, we get 2 hits, we hit for 10. He's already not looking too good. He only has one finale buff, so he doesn't have enough damage to get rid of me just yet, and she take covers again. So, yeah, we're in the spot that we are in. That's all I can say here. I could shoot the flagellant again, pray for a crit. And then have the finishing pressure. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, pray for the crit and you shall receive. <laughs> pray for the crit and you shall receive. Very good then. I'll go for that and I'll go for the finish him. He'll be a goner. They don't have enough to finale me just yet. If they want to drop a finale on me, so be it. It'll basically be down a character too. And as long as I can get through flash once I'm happy. Yeah, as long as I can get their flash, I'm happy. So we're gonna go for the puncture here to try and save him. I have 50-50 move res, so we stay alive, thankfully. And I might just go for a, a double stun on the Jester. I don't know, no need. No need, he can't finale me yet. Finish him. 95! The 95! We even have an emoji for that 95. They still have their anti in turn, which is annoying. And yeah, his heal is gone, his stuff is gone, and Caltrip sticks. Caltrip sticks with us. That's how Caltrips works. Yeah, sadly this dodge has proven to be quite annoying, but at least we, we hit like one of the stuns and, this, and the zealous, so it hasn't been like the most annoying thing in the world. Yeah, I'm just going to heal, obviously. I don't want to die to a finisher in the Aquarian. That wouldn't be too much fun whatsoever, so we just do this. I'm quite surprised I didn't just try and wait it out. Wait out my action, because I dropped this door anyway. They could have done that and then threatened to finale me. Yeah. Or rather, they could have waited, then I dropped the Death Star, then... Uh, I dropped the Death Star, then I dropped the heal, then they dropped the Harvest. And then I'm still at the Death Star, so an extra round. I don't know. It, it it works both ways, it works both ways. I suppose this is fine for them. They, they also got to bleed on my Bounty Hunters, so that's good. Otherwise, it could not have worked quite well. Naturally. Ugh. What an annoying ass team to play against. Okay, 50-50, and okay, thankfully we do get the stun on there. They can they can do that again, by the way, if they want. And then I definitely can't hit the jazz, so like, yeah, you know, look at this. Disgusting! Disgusting! They'll probably do it again. And I won't be able to hit him. I have to stun him again. <laughs> if they do it again, I'll have to stun him again, but now he has 60, 60 dodge. Ugh, it just keeps getting worse, doesn't it? I can just I can just pop it. But I'll leave that for last. Wow. Aha! I stunned you twice! Look! I can play this game. 
I'm going to pull that antiquarian. I'm going to shoot that antiquarian. And I'm going to hit her with all the might of the Crusader Stunning Blow. I hate antiquarians. I just play an antiquarian. I hate her. She's so annoying to play into. Take cover, regen, protect me, pass this finisher. Such an annoying character. Really, doesn't get any worse than that. And now I can't even pull her because then they'll just add her skis. God, this team! Okay. Decision making to be decided. If I pull and they genuinely just add her skis, it should be okay. It should be okay because then I'll be able to stun her. Yeah, then I'll be able to stun her, so it should be okay for them to, to just add a skiss here. This should be still good for me. Because I'll just go for my stun. It it can't whiff, for sure. But I'll just go for my stun. If they decide not to add a skiss, then I can preemptively heal and I won't be at this store, which is good. Oh, they expose. Interesting. Well, then I'll just preemptively heal. I won't even be at this store. And I'll just go for the stun now with a much better hit chance than I would otherwise. And you're gonna be... Closer to this door. This is probably the third win here. That is very good. We got the hits where we needed them, really. I did get quite lucky, even though Mr. D, you know, he definitely played this very well, about as well as he could. They're gonna go for the expose now. They still have 60 dodge, Jester. Wow. 11 to 20 damage. Wow. I can go for the pull. Am I dropping? No, I'm not. That's the fun part. I'm not even dropping. I really want to kill my... I, I Not kill, I want to keep my bounty hunter. Watch this. Boom. We drop a heal here. We go for rage on Antiquarian. I have net, so I have more accuracy. Then we go for finish on Antiquarian. 80% chance of her dying. Oh, that an 80? Oh, no. Oh, I've seen those fail. Mm, I have seen those fail. Okay. Calm down, Shepard. Don't fail. Don't be silly. What's the hit chance? This is better hit chance. What's the gesture out of Harvard? It's fine. It's fine. It was in fact not fine. <laughs> the narrator voice here. Ooh, okay, we do this, and we stun her, even though we're going to be at this store. Do we stun her, or do we go for the... Um... And now the true test. Hold fast. Yeah, we have to go for the stun here. Can't, can't afford to, to let her not be stunned, unfortunately. If they want to go for the shot on my Crusader, so be it. It's only a 35 with a Dirk Stab. And they'll be dropping closer to this store every turn that passes. And if they do that, then the harvest, then the Antiquarian dies. If they don't, I'll I'll just go rally to the flame and everyone will be alive. Because they only have a 25 to get the kill. And they might go for the finale here on the bounty. They don't, they go for the harvest. Crit and a death blow. Naturally a crit and a death blow. Uh, they still have the jester. Finale, that is. I have a guaranteed kill on there. We suffer the 25. Yeah. We suffer the 25% chance we do this. That, that buff is gonna run out soon. One, only one more round of that ridiculous buff from the Protect Me. Yeah, we suffer the 25, then we go for the heal, so they have to drop a finale to just do that. But before we do that, we go for the. Um, we go for the manacles here. Because why not, right? We go for the manacles 50 50, and wow. Thank you, Ned. Thank you, Ned. Like, it's it's been working. I I love Ned. It's exactly for situations like this where you re where you really need Ned. Now that's all just going away, and you bet your ass I'm gonna day I'm gonna flare. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. I'm gonna flare to wait for that twenty dodge go away. I am going to flare here. It looks stupid, but it's not. I am going to flare. I'm going to keep. It is a bit weird, though, to flare. No, I don't have to flare. No, I'm just being stupid. I thought I went first. I thought I'd go first. No, I don't have to flare. My idea was flaring, and then I'd have the abomination turn to wait out the buff, and everything would be okay. But yeah, no, I don't need to do that. 
I thought I had to do that, but apparently I don't. I just do this, and it's GG. Match number three goes to Shepard Doggy, because even though they have infinite dodge on the Shield Breaker, I have Cal Trip slowly taking away since the beginning of the match, and I can't win anymore. Wow, what an exciting one. WD always wins, right? Who, who doubted? Who doubted the WD? WD doubters, accuse yourselves of your crimes, and you shall be punished with... An hour of WD episode. Have I done an hour of WD episode? Well, I've, I've done similar to an hour of WD. This is a 60. Oh, juicy. <laughs> of course. There's no way you win this, even before that's done. But yeah, GG's to Mr. D. Match number three goes to me. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? And GG, go next. Okay. Uh. Oh, GG, go next. Please just go next. It's over. It's over, guys. Oh, they have monkey spawn. I don't. Ah, of course you're playing Shep Stress. Why did you play Shep Stress into me? It's such a terrible move. Okay, they have Shep Stress. I was not expecting Shep Stress, honestly, but uh, I was not expecting going second either. But, you know, such as we did with your circus. This hasn't worked out too well for me in the, in the past moments. When I've been playing Shep Stress, it hasn't been working out too well. I have, I have anti damage men at arms. They have. Oh, this is such a throw, but it works well in this matchup. Oh, it's but it's such a throw. It really is such a throw. Like any damage team just shreds this completely. Like it's not even funny with those two trinkets how badly how badly this team gets shred. But you know, such is the way with the butcher circus, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Oh, this is Yeah, because this team already has the tools to deal with what this deals with. But now they have this or two. Who went first? They went first. We bolster them. Yeah, we bolster them. Alright. Time to bolster. Give myself the extra dodge. You're going to command buff to try and counter it, but I should have enough dodge to at least dodge a couple of the Hounds Harry's. There's gonna be a lot of Hounds Harry RNG here, ladies and gents and chaps and chips and cheapy chappers. <laughs> do we Hounds Harry first or do we. I mean, I could get the Hounds Harry first, sure. That doesn't make too much of a difference. And we get a nice crit on it. Okay, that's a very good start for me. Any any adjacent stresses? Don't think so. Don't think so, unfortunately. Yeah, they have a crit buff on there. They don't have the attack whistle. They miss one. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, okay. Nice, nice, nice. I do have a crit buff. So, unfortunately, they're going to detransform here and probably pile. That's what I would do. Let's see what they do. They will get the damage buff actually next round with the flash one, unfortunately. Which I actually didn't want to happen, but so be it. They might go for manacles because they're Mr. D and not me. But no, they, they go for the bile anyway. I don't really mind it too much, I'm going to bile as well. I have a damage buff, so it is advantageous for me to bile here because if they hurry into it, my damage buff will uh, also make my repost hurt a lot more. So if his is hurting for 5, mine is probably going to hurt for like. 8 or 9, probably. I don't have the spiked chain, but you know, it should be, it should still be doing well here. I have, a, I'm applying a lot of my DOTs to the men at arms too, which is really good. I do have the attack whistle, so it is helping me out for sure. Now they have dodge, so I'm gonna go for the command buffs here. No point in me going retribution, it's it's gonna tickle. It's gonna tickle, there's really no point to drop command buffs and bellows. Yeah, really no point in me going retribution just yet. If I had shield spike, sure, but I don't. I do not have the shield spike, so I can't really justify doing that. Oh, they're gonna have so much crit. Oh god, how much crit is that? An extra 14% crit, an extra 6 here. Yeah, guaranteed crit almost. <laughs> guaranteed to crit one of them. Jesus. I will I will Reign of Sorrows first, because I want to apply the DOT sooner rather than later. So let's do that under Houndmaster. Unfortunately, no crits, but thankfully we do hit. Oh, here we go. Here we go, their mana is gonna resist everything. I have a... Okay, good. Good, 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 we take it. Uh, they did get two crits on me, but at least we got a crit back. So it's... Um, it is the way of the Butcher's Circus, I guess. Alright, we hurry into it, we get a nice crit. Is that enough to call to this door? Yes, it is! Good! Good, 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 good! That's a Death Door doggy. Oh, my, my repulse was fantastic. My repulse was fantastic. Maybe they should have gone for a stun on it to shut me down. Right, knowing that I had a crit buff. 
yeah, I mean you can't predict it. It's still the best move to go beast pile usually because it's only 75% to get uh, to get the stun on there. So intense, so intense, so very intense. They might drop a redeem here preemptively, but hopeless can say no. It should be amazing to me. If they hound Zeri in their past kills, they don't do stress, which is the best thing. They hound Zeri mindlessly. No kill. No kill, unfortunately. What's my hit chance? Hopeless minus dodge, right? It is. They do... 4... 10... Um, hmm. I don't want them to Reign of Sorrows make here because then I would, I would drop to Death Star. I was wondering whether I command buff first or not. I, I decide against it. I suppose in, in the end it doesn't make too much of a difference. Both the doggies are just not enjoying themselves here. <laughs> They're really not. I might go redeem just to keep them alive. That's probably a good move. Yeah, this is going to be a fast one. Relatively fast, depends on how fast we play. But it should be fast, because we're both, like, going ham. And th this is Chef's Stress versus Chef's Stress 1 versus Chef's Stress 1. Both of them go ham. This is, this is what you got to do with the Chef's Stress 1. You're going to drop your redeem, say no. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, dog. You're such a good boy. We're going to drop our own redeem, or are we? I really want to drop rain. Oh, the 25! Oh, that sucks, though. Ah, that does quite suck. But you know what I could do? They do have guard, though. Nah, we gotta, we gotta go for it, man. I gotta do it, man. Come on, crit chance. Come on. Yeah, okay, good. One kill as well. That's so unfortunate. The, the lead I had built is gone now, because they got a 25 and I didn't get the 25 on them, and so on. Yeah, if I had survived that there, it would have been fantastic. Since I didn't, then, um... How do I have double distress on my flagellant, by the way? What the hell? Like, literally, double distress on my flagellant. We're doing the exact same thing. I don't get it. I literally don't get it. How? Did they get all the adjacent stress and all that, all that sort of BS? Probably. Yeah, they got the battle debuffs. can't believe my dog is gone. And they have run secure. Oh, it sucks. Oh, paranoid. Ah. Oh, anything but paranoid. Hopeless. This calls them to go afflicted too. How much time are they taking? A bit. Taking more than me. That's good. And they go hopeless. I think paranoid's worse here. Yeah, I do think paranoid's worse. Unfortunately. So it's going to transform. Probably gonna push my flage. Or my flag. My flage. My flagellant. <laughs> it works. Sadly for me. It does work. They will potentially get a death star check on him. But you know, Selch is with the butcher circus. I'm I mean I'm gonna slam anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna slam that anyway. Ow. Slam them to the back. Position for back to the pit. I wonder if they try going for the kill. They are guard broken, so they have to redeem here. I will redeem my mana arms. Oh, they're they're not. I don't have reach. I don't have reach. I'd rather be in position for myself, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, how going first helps. Please don't. Okay, good. At least we live those. I'm not at this store just yet. I'm safe. So I'm going to click my man at arms and I'm going to redeem and heal him. Hopeless, don't you dare. Good. Good job, hopeless. And let's go for those bio, for those bellows, I mean. Yeah, nice damages. My abomination is in better shape. Now the problem is that their man at arms has Renzi Cure for the end game and my man at arms tells it. My man at arms has retribution. It it really sucks playing into this. He probably expected me. Uh, to go Chef Stress here. He probably did. He didn't expect me to go for a damage team. Oh, that's very helpful. That is very helpful. Maybe he says no because he's fearful. Uh, they, they, they can't both say no though. So it won't be as amazing as I'd wish it to. I'll shop a redeem then. My hopeless might say no. I don't have to. No, I do. Let's do it. Oh. I do have to. <sighs> My advantage. I've already suffered to this, so check. 
Oh, I'm gonna lose this. Ah, oh, I'm gonna lose this. There's no way for me to win into this. I'm insecure, old man. So unfortunate. Why of this? I'm going to redeem the dear abomination. <laughs> Naturally. Not bad. It's probably better though. Yeah, moving back twice here is probably better. It's also stunned there. Stunned there is probably the move. Ah, Hopeless might move back. It's a stun there. Hopeless might move back here. Yeah, with the Hopeless move back, uh, this would be fantastic for me. Yeah, it really would. It would be amazing. It's a 10% chance that he moves back. <laughs> I know I'm going going for the 10%. Ooh, it might it might just work. That's not a move back. That's a pass. You got it wrong. You got it all wrong, my friend. Okay, we might just paranoid move back then. Okay, they move to the front. Back to the pit. I'm gonna move to position one here. And oh, you fucker! Okay, we move to position two here. No, oh, you fucking idiot! I'm sorry for swearing, but oh, it just sucks to be to be losing this now. It really does. Ah, I can't file anymore. La 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 la. la. They go for the stun on the men around. I'm crazier than the characters at this point. Okay, that's good. We're gonna have to kill him through death blows while he kills me through stress. It's unfortunate, but yeah, they have numbing. I don't. I have the anti damage setup. They're going to bile here. <laughs> <laughs> the mark act out! Woo! 199. Guess who's a goner? Yeah, I guess who's a goner. Well, come on, move back. Nope. Sure. Whoa, 25. Good, 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 good. Okay, winnable. Actually winnable. Actually winnable. I'll just punish into that abomination. Uh, I've suffered one death sword check, unfortunately. So this is uh, not advantageous for me. No. They have... I have more HP. Well, not, not anymore, but... They have less stress than I do, unfortunately. Do I want him to die first? No, because then I'm going to go afflicted. Let's just do this. Oh, I can save him. Do I? Like, what, what worth is he to me? They're just going to bile and kill him anyway. Yeah, he sacrificed him. Like, I generally don't think he's worth it anymore. Yeah, I generally don't think he's worth it anymore. I'm just gonna let him die. Yeah, I don't. I do not believe it's worth it, especially with minus healing skills. Like, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna hit that flagellant. That's the game plan. We don't hit the flagellant. We win because of it. Uh, they're going to punish me here, which is very good for me because now I just go for a. I'm dead. I'm dead if I go for what I want to go for. <laughs> Ooh, crit punish saves the game here. <laughs> crit punish, come on! Yeah, the crit punish. <laughs> oh, we take those! Oh, okay, dude, okay. Uh, we might wanna... We might wanna self-heal here, Shep. They're gonna get a crit punish too, watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. 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 Oh. Oh. I, I, I saw the crit in my eyes, but I, it, it wasn't there. <laughs> I'm hallucinating. Do I stun? I have to do something, right? Um, do I heal first, or do I get rid of the DOT? Get rid of the DOT and then heal. Yeah. With a redeem. Oh, you can say no because of paranoid. That would be hell. Yes, that would be hell. If I just heal here again, then punish. Oh god, I hate this 
background so much. I can't see the freaking torch. I can't see the torch, man. I forgot. Okay, the rapturous, the rapturous, the rapturous, the rapturous, the rapturous at this star, rapturous at this star. No, I'm out. Fuck. Ah. Okay. I've already suffered on this torch check, that's the problem. That's the only problem I got here. But I do have the advantage for sure. Yeah, I do for sure have the advantage here. Even having already suffered on this torch check. Now they have as well, so I have a tiny advantage. Yes! 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 That's so good! Oh my god! That's fantastic! Okay. Oh my god! Oh! Look at those! Even with the fucking boss! Oh god! Oh, W. W. Four wins for the Shepherd Doggy. I'm on a roll, man! Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Match 5. Match point for me. If I win this, I take the best of 10. Flawless. Let's go. Shit. Ah, uh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. I'm playing Sergi Squad. It kind of gets ruined by, by stress teams, especially dodge ones. Ah. <sighs> I should have played oppressive fast on. It's fine. It's fine. There's still win chance. It's very small, but there's still win chance. Oh, this sucks so much. I shouldn't have picked this team. It's okay though. Of course he's gonna play a stress team. Ah, this is when this is when he turns the tides. I can still lose this like easily. Like the best of five, the best of ten. I can still lose the best of ten. But okay, we're, we're gonna manage. We're gonna manage. So what's the game plan here? The game plan might be to <laughs> Jesus. Um, bile. Bile. Yeah, we bile. Okay, the game plan is to bile and get lucky. It, literally, it's bile and get lucky. That, that's the game plan. I don't have any use for a claim against all this DOT, so what I'm gonna do is just probably not transform, just go punish, not win through stress. So, Sergi Squad is a team that has three win conditions Death Blows, Stress, and DOT. It can win with all of them. Has punish, has piles, has sniper shots, and it has all these stress moves and the transformation with the horror. It's only the Argos that doesn't have stress, but she's more of a support character anyway. And you can immediately go for Grain of Sorrows and get a crit on it. Fantastic. But it should be okay overall. This is not the worst thing in the world. I am a bit sad I brought snuff though. Like, extremely sad I brought snuff. <laughs> extremely sad I brought snuff. I'm gonna start going for punishes on the men at arms. That's just something that's gonna have to happen here. Just punish after punish. They'll probably guard with the doggy eventually, but I do have Crown of Thorns, so maybe I can hit the doggy. The Crusader will probably just. I don't know, man. Do whatever you want. Zealous, stunning blow. Like, they're both good. Yeah, there's a guard. Alright, okay. Uh, it's gonna be stunning blow then. I'm not, I'm not gonna trust myself in the 72 dodge. I'm just going for the. Maybe, maybe sniper shot first. Actually, yeah, let's do that first. Let's go sniper shot first, 51. Yeah, ain't much I can do here, TBH. They, that's not even plus 15 dodge, that's just... Oh, that's good though. I mean, that helps. What's that buff I got? Huh? I got a buff. Like on everyone. Huh? Did I only get the 15 dodge now? Was that the stress heal? Did I stress heal everyone with the crit? I'm so confused. I'm gonna go for the stun. 65. Okay. So this team does have one problem. No confirmed death blows. Not even a finisher. Best thing it has is rid of execution. They get all really good. It's good though. Like, it's a good team. I wouldn't have picked it if it weren't a good team. Uh, but this is not the matchup for it, that's for sure. It likes playing it to damage teams, not this. Hates playing it to this. Spices it. We can focus the flagellon down here. Maybe we can we can do some flagellon focusing, that's a possibility. I'm gonna go for another stun, hopefully it lands this time. Usually when the first one doesn't land, the second doesn't either. But uh, I was proven wrong this time around, thankfully. <laughs> Big thankfully. Oh, what having no accuracy buffs does to a person like me. I mean, you have trinket, 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 and negative. But you have very good base accuracy on the Arbos, so... Oh, here comes the regents. 
That's going to be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Why? Because we go punish, slam, shoot, seed, mold, you die. Potentially. I might transform slam here. Oh, but I should keep this pile up. If they, if, yeah, they can't guard. Oh, I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. There's a chance. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see the winds in my eyes. I see the wind in my eyes. I have to go for it. Bada bing, bada boom, 60. Frick. Frick, I don't get to go first either. I had to go for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I just had to go for it. Uh, if I got the push there, I could have gone for a 20. Even then, this is still bad for my opponent. I guess. No command boss, by the way. No attack whistle, by the way. Just pure RNG. I think going for 50-50s is not the play. I'm just gonna go for preemptive heals. At least we don't have to deal with the damage side of their team. Let's just deal with the stress, you know? We get stressed out, that's fine. Let's just not deal with the damage. Yeah, they might go Xang here. They don't have Ac. Yeah, they don't have Accuracy. So whatever they do, they might whiff. They only have 90 Accuracy on it. That might whiff! That might whiff! That might There's just no, no whiffs in this roll, it seems. Okay, we heal that again. Uh, actually, before we do that, go for a nice juicy little stunning wall there. Can I get some crits, please? I'd love some crits. Yeah, that's good. We're not gonna detransform Bile here. We're all inning. We're all inning this flagellant. He's he's gotta go. And then we have flagellant to deal with theirs with Crown of Thorns. That's that's the game plan here. Deal with the rest of their team. So you're gonna keep milling the hell out of me, of course. I'm going to... I'm going to have a heart attack. But not in a good way. <laughs> what do you mean, not in a good way, Chef? Is there a good way? Tell me your secrets. No, there isn't. I'm gonna go for a heal on there. Nice crit. It, it helps, for sure. It helps. No more exsanguinate bleed. That's one exsang down as well. But you're gonna win this through stress. Oh, I have a virtue chance, by the way. I have a virtue chance. Woo! I can go courageous! Can you imagine me going courageous? That's never gonna happen. They keep. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. No accuracy. No accuracy, by the way. When I go for these abilities with no accuracies, I get quadra dodges. And ironically, quadra dodges. I'm gonna go flicked now because of that crit. Wow! That's wonderful. That's just wonderful. Okay. Well, go flick it and... I don't know, be silly. <laughs> be silly. <laughs> what I have to do here, let's be silly. Yeah. Nice hit chances. Well, at least we hit him. Nice blinds, I suppose. Where's the all-inning, Shep? Where's the all-inning? It's coming, it's coming, don't worry. It's still coming. He's still stunned for the next round. We're still all winning here. Good. Good blinds. We take those. We need to take everything we can get, but we're losing this. Yeah, unless we go courageous, we're losing this. But we need to take what we can get. We do need to take what we can get. Uh, he's dazed. Can't be guarded. They're going to bellow me first. It's gonna cause an affliction, unfortunately. Yeah. Give me abusive. Give me abusive. It's minus accuracy, but I want it anyway. I need it. Oh, okay. Now she's definitely on healing duty. If she wasn't on healing duty already, now she definitely is. I'm going to flare this. The damage heals are too much. Let's just get rid of that real quick. Like, minus 60 is just a bit too much. I have to do this. Then we go for, like, Ixan crit or something. I can wait it out until my, until my Crusader turn, I believe. Yes, I can wait it out. Uh, my damage buffs are going away, so let's do this. Go for an Ixang on there, guaranteed. Uh, not a guaranteed chance to get the bleed, actually. Yeah, but a 95, good enough. They are going down to zero here, I imagine. Yes, they are, they are going down to zero. I still have the crit buff on me, so if they go for it, they might take some damage. And then I'll have a 30 to get the kill. Which ain't much, but it's honest work. If I get the 30, I win the match. It be what it be. It be what it be. It be what it be. Do I transform again? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. File. One day we're gonna hit him. You get the blight stone. That's good. Okay. 30. 
It all depends on this. Get the 30, win the rest of 10, don't get the 30. Damn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. No 30, no 30, no stun. He still has minus healing skills, and I still have a virtue chance. He goes redeem. Please don't crit or something. Okay, good. No crits. Um, I'm hopeless, so I have minus damage going first, but I have to... No, no, no. Um, so sell us that first. Or stun. Stun that first. Guarantee a kill. It's too late. It's too late. I've already lost. Ah. It's too late. I've already lost. Oh, man. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Even if I lose this match, it should be okay. I have a chance. Oh, I don't do extra stress to him. He should go afflicted here. Yeah, oh, fearful too. No, it's Jover, guys. Yeah, it's Jover, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. Oh, it's so Jover. <laughs> no. Bad match of bad RNG. No justice. Sergi Scott does not take the W. Okay. Well, no septic tank for Mr. D anymore. So that's good for me. No septic tanks allowed. And I'm just going to... I, I can't do anything anymore. Oh, this really does feel terrible, doesn't it? I'm sorry, Sergi. I'm sorry, it's, it's not your fault. It's just not a good matchup. Really not too much I could have done here. N none of my win conditions beat just DOT spam. DOT AOE spam. None of my win conditions can do that, unfortunately. Well, I do have a damage buff here. That's helpful. Like, I'm gonna keep playing, obviously. I I'm not surrendering. I am not surrendering. For sure. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna pray for a 30 or something of the likes. I still have a transform slime if they try to guard with... Um, with the doggy, they don't. They don't even try the guard. Well, then, the last time it is. Can you imagine if I went courageous and I didn't pass the previous round? The hopeless. Yeah. And I got the twenty. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Good. Good. It's just not enough, though. Maybe if I transform again, they go afflicted. Yeah, but they're again. They do go afflicted. They don't have... No, they have healing gear. They have, too, they have still too much knowledge. Like, these two could probably do E Forest right now. Even with a flash want. I think I'm gonna be capable. But we will try, anyway. One of the recent uploads was with the Kalashnikov winning against all odds. So, we will try to win against all odds ourselves. It must be done. It must be done. Two passes in a row from Hopeless. Not even the heavy pass affliction. Yeah, it's not even fearful. Yeah, 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 yeah. He feels hopeless, I feel helpless too, brother. I feel hopeless too. Let's heal everyone here. Go for the wild crit punish on the men arms that save the match. Or rather the doggy. Oh, well, that could... Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. If I get, like, another one of those to land and selfish passes, like, I can generally win this. Uh, I really need Fearful not to pass here, though. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, if I get, like, another one of those, like, I can generally win the match. What did they get? Selfish plus dodge, of course. Of course they would. Uh, selfish can pass, though. It's not, not, not terrible. I can hit into it again. I'm... Almost dead. Wait for heart attacks. Yeah, wait for heart attacks, then we can heal. Alright, we go for this before they stack up any more dodge. Another hit, very good. That's another DOT guaranteed. Okay, it's winnable. I just need him to pass. When he, once he's at this door, not go for the lick wounds, we get the kill on him, then it's just the Antiquarian and the uh, Men at Arms. We clear the corpses, and we zealous them to all hell with uh, with our flash on Christianity in the game. Oh, if only I went virtuous and not fearful. <laughs> like, virtuous and. Or, or, I don't know, masochistic. Like, that would have been awesome. But no, I went to freaking Fearful Crusader. This is, sucks. It really sucks. But I might get the Dodger too. They still have no accuracy. They still have no accuracy. Look at this. And they're gonna, they're gonna get a crit. Okay, no, but they, they hit everyone. 
Which is, you know, almost better than getting a crit at this point. Well, that's two heart attacks. Okay, he's safe now for a bit. He has heart attack recovery, so he's safe for a bit now. Don't push. Yes! Okay, it's very good. It's awesome, though. The guard is gone. Okay, that's actually, like, not too big. But, uh, Fearful can do stress, so let's heal here first. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 I was almost saved. I was almost saved until it wasn't. If I zealous here, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Only she healed herself. I just hate my afflictions. Like, oh, still no accuracy. Okay, I do get one dodge though. Finally, like there is there is dodge in this world. <laughs> there is dodge in this world. I'm going to transform here. Yeah. And do what? Shepherd doggy. Watch, watch and learn from the master of the movement. <laughs> I am the master of the movement now. I pass. I pass. The master of the movement does nothing. The best move is to stand still. Why didn't you bile? I want to get her afflicted. If I get her afflicted, I can win the match. She goes masochistic and GG. Or abusive, even. Dazes the other guys or, or something. I don't know. He's going to guard now. That's okay. We just punish into him instead. I, I don't care. We're going to go for the Zealous here. We're doing zero stress. Um, this would help get rid of the corpse too. Decent damage. Zealous is coming. Zealous is coming for sure. I heal everyone when I drop with Tedesto with the flash one, by the way. Keep that in mind. They don't have too much healing. They have regen, but not too much healing. They don't pass, unfortunately. They have a lot of duty on them, but it's going away soon, so a lot of it is wasted. They can selfish, I mean, they can heal here, self-heal, but... They also want to go for Harry, obviously, I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to go for Harry, it's awesome. They're gonna pass, no, they don't. Okay, they get a crit, that might be advantageous for me. Yeah, she has a heart attack, she's good. I can heal the other characters, but it won't be enough. So, I can do this. I can... Oh. Uh, uh, who do I heal here? Yeah, that's all the only case to it. Uh, let's heal you, okay. He says that. Let's heal you down. Now he drops. Oh. Wish I healed the Crusader now. Bow. Please bleed. Yes! 27 bleed on there. It's actually winnable! If only I had a virtue. Oh, can you imagine courageous? <laughs> courageous! Woo! They're going to self-heal now. Please, selfish. I need another pass. I got like three passes this match. I need another pass. Quick. Okay, there's the wood crowns. I can still zealous that. Am I alive? No, I'm dead. I, I tried to heal him, but he said no. Bozo. Okay. I am kind of screwed here, regardless of what I do. It sells into that. Eh, it tickles. It really does tickle. And I hit misses too. We'll say the accuracy is not enough. Okay, you're going to bellow here. Maybe there's act maybe there's stress from the other characters. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. It's really not what I wanted. Okay. You have to heal them. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh that's so terrible. Oh man, I tried to heal him, he said no and now I pass. Yeah. I could have healed there with the Crusader, but it would have taken enough DOT anyway or something. 
Like, it, it wouldn't have worked, it wouldn't have worked. I, I wanted to go for the Dallas there. Okay, he's gone. It's fine, it's fine. He's gone too. It's a 2v3. It's a 2v3 now. Oh, nice DOTs. I'm down to one X-Sank. They have too much dodge. I feel like I'm play I'm Silek now. Like, Silek did this in the tournament. Every match, like, uh, round two, I, I can't win, I can't win. And then I asked him, do you want to surrender? He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't win. Do you want to surrender? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. It was genuinely hilarious. Oh, what a lad. What a lad. Don't you there. Okay, that's fine. Heal him. He's not gonna die through stress, so might as well keep him relatively healthy. I can I can still redeem. I still have two redeems actually. That'd be pretty smart. And that's only one heart attack. Oh no, it's two Oh that's so seriously, I get everything that could possibly be unlucky. Like when whenever I can be unlucky it happens. 33% chance to cause adjacent stress when you have a heart attack. And it just happens right there exactly when my opponent needed it. It's it's unfortunate is what it is. Okay, they're dropping to zero there, regardless of what they do. I'm just going to click myself here and... I mean, I've got the Crusader a bit more. Yeah, we heal the Crusader then. I'm sorry, Arbalus, you're not gonna make it. I could have gone for a heal there, but... You know, like, reclaim and just pray. I might still go for it. No, she's dead. Yeah. Actually, oh, she's fine. I got this. Okay, that's good. Wrong character, but still good. Nah, oh, she's gonna have a heart attack anyway. It's just that I have nothing going on their side. I have the horror from the transformation still going, so she is gonna go afflicted. I'm praying she goes fearful and passes ten times in a row. <laughs> I think that's what I need. <laughs> At this point, what I need. She's creating corpses. Yeah, what should do more stress? Because that's how the Butcher Circus works. Okay, I can just... I can kill myself here. Here's the thing, if I click and heal... You know, like if I click, she doesn't act out. I can click here and do a double heal. Which I think would be best. Click and self-heal could be ruined. Yeah, hopefully Fearful doesn't pass, because that's just two deaths. Okay, good. Fearful doesn't pass. Oh, we have two Fearfuls, by the way, on, on the damage team. I am trying to play that as a damage team. There's really not too much else for me to do. If I can delay the heart attacks, like, forever, then, you know, there's a chance. <laughs> but that's it. They're going to guard soon, by the way. Yeah, they're going to guard the, the men at arms here, and then I have to deal with the doggy, but, like, I can't deal with them. I don't have the hack. Uh, I, I, there is one dodge there though, that's pretty good. I am dropping to this store regardless, because I got the mineral on the heal. There's the Rapturous. I still value the Crusader a bit more. But I have less stress on the Arbalus, so... But they have to guard here. Yeah, I'm going to heal the Arbalus, because I have more stress on her. At the very least, she can maybe survive a uh, hit. And some stress. They might go risky here, but I might just get a crit punish. Oh, they blackjack. They don't get the kill. I don't think I agree with blackjack. Like, sure, no crusader turn, but still, I think it's weird. Oh, I really need to, like, 25 it. I really need to go ham on the 25s. Now they guard and they're safe. Because I don't have cells anymore. Please, selfish, please, selfish, please, selfish, please, selfish. Okay, oh, another blackjack. Wow, I'm getting stunned by the not stun team. Wonderful. Okay, now, now they're both dead. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they win, they just win through stuns. Isn't that lovely? And then I have to win a 1v2 with 1x sank. Nope, not happening. Actually, 1v3. Not even a 1v2 yet. You're all dead. You're all dead. Nice try, chaps. Nice try. We just can't do anything. It all comes down to rock, paper, scissors in the end, doesn't it? Like, this entire best of five, or rather, best of ten has been rock, paper, scissors. 
really has been. You're gonna do this, pray that she gets a heart attack on my Arbol since she survives here. So, oh, they're, they're alive actually. Well, she's not. So <laughs> she's not. Watch, watch, him, watch me get extra stress from her dying. Yep, on both characters too. Like, no, it's just the Butcher Circus doesn't want me to win. It's as simple as the Butcher Circus does not want me to win. I don't even get to go first here. Oh, okay. They're, if they guard there with. Uh, no, they don't even do that. It's a misplay. It, uh, they should have moved back twice there or something. Like, just keep the Man at Arms alive. Just be a freaking nuisance with, like, Guard Dog. They, they should have done that, but. Uh. So many punishes and I still don't get the kill. Uh, did I not even get the affliction on her? Wherefore? Oh, okay, no, I got the affliction now. She goes hopeless. Yeah. I mean, sure. Two selfishes and a hopeless. Selfish can do stuff that's really bad. But nothing. Just not. Absolutely nothing for me. Maybe I. No, I need to build the man arms. Okay, she moves forward. I was hoping for a whip or something, or like a pass or something, you know? Those would have been ideal. He still have so much dodge. I have nice accuracy now, though. Do I exang into them? Yeah. Kinda have to. No, oh, there's my last exang. After this, you're gonna have to the swords and like they have big covers, they have guards, they still have only clones. They, they just have too much, unfortunately. It's a bit too much. Even the crown of thorns. If I had, if I had like the courageous crusader here, just chilling by my side, can you stop clearing the corpses? It's loud. <laughs> oh, look at the extra stress it did. By the way, clearing the corpse causes stress to your characters. I just love it. Ow. Thank you, Crown of Thorns. That's a good hit. That's uh, almost enough. Uh, technically, there's a chance for me to win. Selfish can pass, Hopeless can pass. One. Pass. Self hit, very good. Corpse is gone, so I'm probably going to. <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with this garbage. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to deal with Protect me. Ooh, she's gonna drop Protect me 500 million times. There we go. Okay, he's going to. Good. Okay, selfish pass again. Also, interestingly, it gets extra guard duration because of the padded arm guard, if you didn't know. He goes Lick Wounds, which, I mean, fine move. Lick Wounds. On this store check. On this store check. It's time. The crit punish to save the match. Wow. It's winnable. Wow. 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 He's almost dead. He's not dead because of the bolster, but he's almost dead. Like, it's unironically winnable. It's crazy. Oh, it's so bloody close. Why is it? Why is it so bloody close? Antiquarian, call him stupid. Call him stupid now. No extra stress from her dropping to the store, by the way. Call him stupid. Continually onslaught. 